Welcome to Corruption Stockpile, but hang on a minute, hang on. This is a little different. I have real corrupted NES cartridges. Physical Nintendo cartridge corruptions. And this is um, from Irkluzar. And it's basically the conclusion of much research on how to corrupt cartridges. And I'll show you what's going on here in just a minute. I'll just read that. There was a hardware NES corruptor a while back, and there, there was like a knob on it. This is different. This is the corruptions were like, basically messed with, like the, the, the pins using like pliers and stuff. So it says here, this project is the conclusion to my research on real physical NES corrupt, uh, cartridge corruptions. My findings prove and demonstrate the following. One, if an unfortunate event occurs, to a cartridge and something is shorting the internal chip. That can lead to corruptions. Two, if the PCB is dirty and two circuits are bridged by corrosion. Three, if the stars align and the resistance, a short circuit between the pins, it's just, just perfect, then it follows that a creepypasta cartridge in the wild could very well be real. So we do live in a world where it's possible. The research has been complete. It is possible that a dumpster cartridge could contain corruptions and could have like a blue Mario. You know, if Saddam Hussein had a dumpster and something was in there and there was corrosion and solar flares, lightning, it actually could end up corrupting a cartridge. And we'll, we'll show you how that is possible in just a moment. Um, this is the NES that was sent to me. This is a real... Nintendo Entertainment System. And, um, as you can see here, chat, this is my NES controller that I've had since I was three. Yep, still works. So, um, that's what we're going to be using. And you can even see here, let's see if you can get a shot of that. Since the lid was a little messed up, I guess this was a flea market find. There's a screw in there. So, yeah. Now, I can show you the wealth of, um, of cartridges here. So, Irkluzar got these from, like, I guess flea markets. And um, we've got a number of games. And these cartridges are... Yeah, we got eight of them, and uh, they're corrupted. So we'll start with Mario 3, and I'm not actually supposed to push this down, so we're not going to. Now, the 72-pin connector in this NES is new. What that means is it's actually kind of difficult to get the cartridge in there because it's brand new. The more you use it, it loosens up. So, like, my NES, is, it's, very, <laughs> it's very loose. It's not weird. I'm just saying what it is. So, I do have the camera here. There's really not much to see, but when I need to switch to it, I'll show you what's going on. Here is Super Mario Brothers 3. So one thing we've learned is that the longer the longer the console is on, the more corrupted it gets, and this is probably due to heat. So uh Okay. So, Irkluzar was saying he couldn't even get past the first castle, and it just gets worse as it goes. Alright, well this is not because of the corruption, this is just terrible gameplay. I always do this, whenever I start playing Mario, I always die to like the first Goomba. Oh my god. Alright, we gotta reset. Oh yeah, of course. Seizure warning, photo epilepsy warning, always with corruptions. Be careful um, if you have any kind of photosensitivity! Oh 
Oh my god. The aspect ratio is... The, the, okay, so the widescreen... I could probably... Here, you know what? I can... <laughs> I can actually fix the widescreen if it's... I don't know what the exact dimensions are. But I can try my best here. Let's see. Does that look about right, chat? Do those boxes look like boxes? Okay. The reason that happens, chat, if you must know, is I have a, um... What is it? RGB RC cables to, uh... HDMI. And it outputs widescreen, which I think is kind of dumb, but it's... I also... Oh, the audio issues I was having with my plug and plays is directly related to that, so I need a new converter. So that'll be, um... a future purchase. I fixed this audio by going from the NES directly to my computer. So... Yeah. Oh my god. My, okay, Mario didn't jump when I wanted him to. <laughs> no, fuck off. Mario didn't jump when I wanted him to, and I don't know if that's because of my crusty 35-year-old controller, or if it was uh, corrupted. It, it could have been either. It could have been both. I don't know. Oh my god. Okay, we're- we're in the sky. You, come on! So, okay, so a couple things can happen, I've learned. If I reset the NES using the reset button, it maintains its corruption state, like where it's at now. Oh my god. But if I hit power... Like, so, here's a reset. It's so corrupted, it's... Is it even gonna turn on? Yeah, there it is. We'll see. So, you get two different effects from reset and, like, power cycling. Yeah, there we go, right back to where it was. Now, I'm going to, um... I'm gonna try that. Disable the limiter? I don't even have a limiter on right now. Okay. Very good. Try putting a block of ice on top of it. Well, I'm sorry to say, chat, with Nintendo shutting down Yuzu... Wait, is that Sponge? This this is the only way to get corruptions from now on. So... Start... Getting them fucking pliers, and start ripping them cartridges open, and spending hundreds of dollars to get cartridges. Because of an overly inflated market. Don't actually do that, by the way. But, you know, it, unless you're a professional. I can't even beat the first level. How did Irkuzar get to the castle? Like, I, it doesn't... It doesn't compute. Does that mean no Wii or GameCube games in the future? I, I was joking. I don't think corruptions are going anywhere, don't worry. Do 
you remember when they did DQ3 speed run with a hot plate? I don't remember that, but... I mean, it's, the thing is, it's not an exact science from what Phil was telling me. It's more like these are things that you can do to lead to corruptions, and heat may be the reason why this gets more corrupted over time. It's not 100% known. Like, there's still experimentation being done. So we're going to leave that for a second there. And, uh... Yeah. We'll just give it a minute to cool down and see if it actually resets. I've showed this before, I think, but... I have this cool, um, Vine Sauce Game Boy cartridge. It's not for sale now. I think it was at some point. But, like, you know, very limited numbers. Okay, let's try again. What does it play? Um, it, it has lights on it. Okay. Okay, yep. Ah! Okay, chat. I think it's my controller. I have a backup controller that was sent to me, so I'm going to try that in a minute. Do you know how many times Zelda 2 was played on this controller? And how much, like, Cheeto dust? <laughs> no, there was no Cheetos at the time. I was, I was born before Cheetos were invented, chat. Alerta. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Nope. Denied, chat! Oh. All right. Well, I think this controller has probably seen better days, so I'm going to try the new controller. I say new, but it's it's still kind of crusty and scratched up. So, as we've learned from this experiment, it is very possible that someone's Mario 3 actually did this stuff. And they would have no idea why. And again, corrosion, it could have been, I don't know, electric waves? I don't know, I'm kidding, I don't know what that is. But it's possible that some of these things, I mean, you know, my experience with it was I had a Super Metroid cartridge I've talked about a lot, which would not get past the intro. So it worked for a while, like a year it worked, and then it just stopped getting past the intro. I had to throw it out. I saw the sky turn red. Construction being done. Please hold. What? microwave a cheap cartridge and see what happens? No. I will not be the one to do that. There is no chance I'm going to be microwaving cartridges. Someone said, surprised you didn't get clown vomit yet. Well, that's the thing. The clown vomit, using the hardware NES corruptor, which I did again years ago, that stream is available somewhere, that was more clown vomit. This is actually going inside and bending pins.
speed run. Vinny, I think this game may be broken. I think it's okay. Luigi, I found a video game cartridge. Mario, where'd you find it? I was doing some work on Saddam Hussein's toilet. And Luigi, I found a secret passage. It went down. Down into an underground tunnel. And Luigi, I never saw anything like this. It were treasures beyond your wildest beliefs. Dumpsters. Lining the walls, Luigi. As far as the eye could see. And Taco Bells. Luigi, there were Taco Bells down there. Oh, oh, Mario, that's amazing. You found like a warp pipe to the Mushroom Kingdom. No, it was Saddam Hussein's sex dungeon, Luigi. And there I found it. A dumpster that was glowing gold. And as I waded through the needles and the piss and the diapers and the shit, I found a cartridge. It was like the briefcase scene in Pulp Fiction, Luigi. Pulp Fiction, Luigi! I don't know what that is, Mario! And as I put my rotten hands in that dumpster, I pulled out this cartridge. You remember that game we put out? In the late 80s, Luigi? Super Mario Bros. 3? Oh! That one. It was covered in grime and muck and cum and piss <laughs> and lube. Oh, Saddam Hussein's got a lot of lube. That's well known. And viscera and guts and blood and bone. And I pulled it out of that rotten dumpster, Luigi, and I brought it back. And this, this is what it was. Oh! Mario, I think that's just an excuse that you can't get past level two. Fuck you, Luigi. So Mario 3 is pretty unplayable. So here's what we're going to do. I was told to use pliers. So we're actually going to have to use fucking ply pliers. Like operation. Right? So that is the first game. And again, the reason we need pliers is because it's a brand new 72-pin connector. So this, this next game is um, Winter Games by Acclaim. And it's got, like, sticker crust. But you do have to wonder the story of these cartridges. You, like, you kind of have to wonder, like, what is, there's, like, mystery stains on there. And, like, like there's a lot of, like, car cartridges have a lot of this. Whatever this is. Like, what is that? Why do cartridges always have that? That smudge? And guts and viscera and bones and mold. Why is he wearing gloves? Well, I, you now know why. Nen, Nintendo Venyon Annoyed and Aunt Nold Aunt Nold Fon United Oats The Dove of Peace flies overhead. The Dove of Peace. Even the Olympics isn't safe from cosmic radiation.
compete in all events. What is QQQQQQQQQQ? Uh-huh. Someone said, would it be possible the earthquake could have corrupted something? Technically, these cartridges survived the earthquake. They were in my possession during the earthquake. I have rebuilt. Huh. Well, it's funny because after the earthquake, there were shirts in New York City that said, I survived the earthquake of 2024. Yeah. Um, it was probably like, what it, would it take? An hour? Hour and a half? Immediately, people were printing out earthquake shirts. Um, we're gonna compete in one event. Oh my god. Well, there's your clown vomit. This one is, like, severely fucked. Yeah, chat, th this one here is, is not good. I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to play this. Eric Lazar gave a suggestion for this one. I recommend going to individual events, but doing bobsled. The other ones are extremely crashy. This one spent way too much time in the Saddam's dungeon. I know, it, yeah, I mean, depends on how long Saddam was sitting on it. Not literally, but maybe literally. Funny coincidence that your Quake pre-record came out the day after it, huh? Oh. Yeah, that is kind of weird. I didn't even think about that. Well, we weren't even... We weren't even supposed to... Play Quake. We were going to play Metroid Prime Federation Force! But I couldn't find my 3DS. I will eventually. I know it exists. But, uh, yeah. Compete in one event. Come on, Bob Sled. Bob Sled. Robert Sled! I'll try a couple more times. You can't even skip this wretched intro in this Olympics game here. Like, you have to see this dude break his legs going up the steps every single time. Try with the practice menu. Ah, the bobsled. Hot dog aerials. Ooh, hot dogs. Hell yeah. Ah, ah, fuck! Oh, I hate this one. <laughs> That was like the video game equivalent of a number station. DNA rewritten. Oh, okay, it's back. And it's gone. Chat, I used to see this stuff just because my, like, my cartridges were dirty. Like, when I was growing up, here's a thing that some of you, most of you probably know about, but I'll just tell you. your cartridges would get dirty. And, I mean, it wasn't solar radiation necessarily, and the pins weren't getting messed up, but there were times there was, like, dust, or, I don't know, smeg, whatever. And one of the things that we did growing up, would we would blow into the cartridge, which then we later found out 
you're not supposed to blow into the cartridge. Because that only, like, adds... I think it oxidizes it by adding, like, moisture? I don't know. But, it worked! So there were many times I saw shit like this for a little bit on the intro. And then would, you know, take the cartridge out, blow into it, and then play it. <laughs> this is amazing. I hate it. Great. Still, still down Blood Mountain. Some of my games were so messed up that if I got them working via, like, say, blowing into the cartridge or just putting it in just right, just right, and, like, it would take effort, it was, like, that much more rewarding to play the game. We gotta put this game down. We gotta take it behind the shed, chat. I'm sorry. This game is... This game has seen better days. And it also has stopped working. I'm gonna try one more game. Like, maybe we'll choose Hot Dog Aerials or something. Take a look at these hands! Hot dog aerials, here we go. Very, very... Okay. Very legible. And... Very cool. Can't see... I can't see anything that resembles a video game here. <laughs> Tem titi, tem titi, tem titi, tem titi, tem titi. Newest meme just dropped, tem titi. We'll try one more, one more. We won't do hot dog aerials, let's try one more. Nintendo cheaped out on the gold quality, and they used a gold alloy for their cartridges instead, and it oxidizes unlike real gold plating. I mean, I, that's a decision I could understand, to a degree, because, like, if you're selling gold, people are just gonna buy Nintendo games, and they're gonna just be, like, scraping the gold off of them. <laughs> like, dissolving every other material, and, like, just collecting the gold. And also, how prohibitively expensive that must have been. So, and I know Nintendo wanted to keep their costs down, because the, the video game market was already in a dumpster by then. Maybe Saddam's. Alright, chat. Unfortunately, this game does not like to work. Even corrupted. Especially corrupted. So, we have to we have to do some surgery. Emergency surgery in the studio. Yes! 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 It's tough! Oh, uh, next is golf. So let us inspect the cartridge for any... Smegmata dentata. I see nothing. I see... What I see here is a golf game that was sitting in a cabinet and was relatively unplayed and untouched. That's what I see. And not resold a ton.
it's worth millions. Well, someone can try to make it worth millions. I don't know if it would work. Golf. What is the... Why does the hole keep appearing on the screen? Oh. So, uh, where are we golfing? I guess in the ocean? Who's, who's this guy? Who's this guy? He looks like he's wearing a burglar mask. Water hazard. Well, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, we might be in the middle of the ocean. It is possible. Yep. Try using the driver and sending the ball into space. What what's uh what's that? The nine iron? I Did I do it? Oh, I see how you play this now. I didn't grow up with this game, and I don't particularly know golf other than Mayro Golf, Rolf, which is the, you know, and Frog Golf, Frolf, but this is, um, that looks like a penis. Actually, it looks like a gun. No, that that's a floppy dong. That's like a, a dong gun. Right in there. Chat, we're getting there. We're five. Whoa. Oh, there's more dongs. Oh, oh, look, look, look. I just need to putt. Oh, B. No, 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 no. It's right there. The hole was right there. Oh, man. What does OB mean? Odor body. It means out of bounds. Damn it. It's the most confusing game of golf I've played since real golf. Stroke play, it says up top. I can think of uh, maybe those dongs on the field were, yeah, that's, yeah, it all, it all makes sense. I need to power cycle real quick. The joke finishes itself. It does. Come jokes. Come jokes. They will make you laugh.
daylight come and they won't go home. All right, we're we're stroking. <laughs> But that's bullshit. That's bull. What? I, I, we're in the water again. And now we can do nothing. Do you seriously think the nine iron is the driver? Yeah. It's not. One wedge. Why would I have any knowledge of golf? I don't. I've only ever played Mayro Golf, and they have, like, wacky, like, like, bullet bill, um, toadstool, you know, clubs. Actually, they do have real golf clubs in Mario Golf, don't they? They got, like, uh, the, the vine putter. They got, um, Mario's pipe. You know, that's what he uses. Really, really fun game of golf here. Whoa, he's now... Is that Mario with a beard? I think it's Saddam. We found him. He got corrupted into the game. It was in his basement for so long. Vinny, you're player two now. Oh. We didn't choose two-player mode, I don't think. Unless we did. I, I can't play this. This is like almost unplayable. I'll try one more time. We'll power cycle once more. blue it is it is blue let's see try again okay What the hell? Man, all right. Let's leave it off for a second here. Let's talk about the weather. The game may have died. Most pristine cartridge, most broken game. Actually, it's it's quite possible that the um the Olympic game was more broken than this. Who's this chuckle fuck? Come on. Come on! It's overheating, maybe? Yeah, probably. I mean, who knows? We'll, we'll just move on. And yes, these cartridges are actually in there really good. And like, to the point where pliers are a necessity. That's not just a bit. Next is... Pinball. Oh, this one's interesting. Okay. Chat, this actually has a switch built into it. Right up there. Let's do a quick check. 
Uh, cartridge doesn't seem too dirty. Maybe the, the label slightly. No, I mean, this is another pretty clean one. Yeah. But I'm going to be jiggling the switch, chat, so... This was an early uh, Nintendo Switch. Okay. Maybe I didn't place it in goodly enough. I didn't. It wasn't in goodly enough. Oh, how I missed that music. That wonderful, wonderful music. Alright, player one. Okay, so, so far, it's not too corrupted. I think I know what happens when I hit the switch, but we're going to try it in a minute. I don't think it's corrupted at all, but let's see. I can't even... I can't reach the switch. I can't reach it. Oh, uh, fuck. Um, did I break it? <laughs> it went green for a second. I don't know if that's the intended effect. Hang on, it needs... I was told it needs a reset. Uh, switch not be working. Hang on. Looks like you're pulling teeth from the NES. No, the Nintendo, like, loves this. Apparently, Irkluzar was unable to bork a single cartridge. Because these cartridges are, are made so... Well? Uh... Uh, there's no music now. Where'd the music go? Okay. Unable to bork a single cartridge. Okay. What do we got going on here? Hang on, chat. <laughs> oh, man. Oh.
Okay. Player one. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Bah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. If <laughs> um. Well, the top came off. Someone said, Vinny, I never realized how much corruptions was like pulling teeth. It's it's very similar, yes. So we may have we may have um broken the game. I don't know if this switch is actually actually gonna work. I mean it turned it green once. Apparently what Phil said this was supposed to shake the, the the table like you were actually shaking a real pinball uh table yeah. pinball Oh, 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 it worked, kind of. It kind of worked. I, I went, the ball went out of bounds. Into the gray zone. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Get it. Get it. Oh. Get it. Oh. oh. Chat, I don't think you understand how serious this is. We are doing emergency surgery on an NES, and it's like brain surgery where, you know, the person has to be awake. The game has to be on. Not just awake, but also, like, playing violin. Whoa. Something's happening. Oh. It's working. Chat, it's working. Yes! Bonus round! I, I don't know what's happening! Yeah, get in there! Or one more time. Shit.
Yeah, get back up. Yes, very good. Oh, I, f I think I figured it out. It's just, it's really hard to not lose the switch. The pliers come off the switch very easily. But, oh, uh, and we have frozen the game. But yeah, I see what's supposed to happen. I think. Is the NES going to sue for malpractice? The job of a dentist is way harder than I expected it to be. Yeah, I mean, it just kind of hovers the ball a little bit if you hit the switch. Look at that, we're getting points! So many points for basically doing nothing. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah! New innovative form of pinball, everybody! Get in there! Gotta get in there, Luigi! Gotta get in there with your pliers! And if you feel some spaghetti and meatballs, you gotta yank it out! Yeah, get a jonkler. Get a good jonkler for the straight flush. Yeah! Royal flush, baby! No! Oh. I think I'm actually, like, wearing the plastic off of this switch. We straight jorkin. Okay, I I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if I want to continue doing this. So we're gonna stop that. Um, that was a new and innovative way to play a video game, and I hated every minute of it. Let's see, let's see how much damage was done to this. I mean, you can see some of the, the like, I've, I've stripped some of the plastic. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit worse than it was. Still pretty, um, still pretty good, though. A little bit of malpractice. Just going to get a little malpractice down. At least that's an easy fix. Next is Tetris. Let's do, oh God, what have we got here? All right, decent shape, decent shape, a little crust here. Oh God, what is this smudge? Oh my fucking God! It's terrible! You! You, knobhead, are you responsible for this? What is it? It's like a mosaic of semen. Oh, God. Oh, mystery blood substance here. Jesus. It was then I knew that this cartridge was irredeemable.
You shit brains. What is that? <laughs> it's Tetris. Use a pen instead of pliers. Okay. That, and how does a pen grip like a cast iron pussy? Please tell me. So we got Tetris here, no music, and the music is very memorable in Tetris. I've already doomed myself in this particular brand of Tetris just now. So I don't really, aside from no music, I'm not really sure what the corruption is. Guess we'll have to. Oh, we can't see any. Oh. <laughs> also, no wonder there was no music. The video source wasn't <laughs> loaded. <laughs> well. Sorry, I, I jonkled my brain trying to use pliers on that cartridge. Okay, corruption spotted. Dave would be so mad at me at how bad I'm doing in Tetris right now. Oh, man. Oh, this is... Dog shit gameplay in Tetris. Corruptions aside. Alright, well, it's getting a little bit better. Uh, don't you hate it when you need the other piece and you get that one instead? The one piece, but you get the other piece. I don't buy it. Rigged. Or I played so incredibly badly that I... The game was just like, now we're done here. I, I always like this music. Who's Howard? This was Howard's cartridge. Man, it sounds like extra shit, though. I wonder if it sounded this bad on my TV back in the day. I also have a splitter that is terrible, and it's summing it up to... Not a splitter, um... Well, actually, yeah, I do have a splitter. That's, um, summing it up from stereo fake stereo to fake mono. It's hard to explain, but let's just say it was a little bit of a nightmare to set up. So I wonder if that's degrading the quality, and it's also going through my computer's front audio panel. In this Tetris, you cannot drop blocks fast with the up button. But I would very much enjoy if you could.
See, now the problem is I'm getting into Tetris. I'm just enjoying Tetris <laughs> right now. And I've already fucked up Tetris a little bit. Wait, no. No, we're good. I'm just, see, I'm enjoying Tetris. The joy, the thrill of the, te the Tetrominoes falling. Tetraminoes? Tetrominoes? I'm not sure. The joy of... Oh, no. Oh, God. Compromises needed to be made. Uh... The corruptions aren't happening. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit, like, concerned. The, the, the fucking cartridge unfuck itself? Give her a big slap and power cycle. What do you mean, slap? <laughs> like... Like that? <laughs> what do you want me to do? <sighs> Nintendo abuse. Gone sexual. Gone crazy. It sometimes corrupts, sometimes doesn't. You now have a record for the fastest loss in Tetris. How does it feel? Well, it feels pretty good. It's something, it's an accomplishment. That's all we humans can really ask for, even if it isn't the best accomplishment. We humans. With a Z. We Humans was a really good Nintendo Wii game. Wait, am I slapping the NES? Or am I slapping the cartridge? The acid doesn't seem to be kicking in like when I tested it. There's footage of what it should do. Alright, we're gonna go into the folder. You know what? Now would be a good time to take a look at some of the vi- I forgot about that. We have videos. And we've got images of what these cartridges look like. So here's what Irklazar was able to get. Very, very nice. Well, I got that for a second. Edge Triss. Some people hire an edge, edge Triss, you know. <laughs> Just in case you wanted to see the inside of Tetris, here's what it looks like. This is what it looks like um, currently with the corruptions and some of the pins bent in a certain way to get these corruptions. Um, this was Mario 3, by the way. Just for whoever is interested. This is Winter Games. Th 
this is golf. I mean, this technology is still just magic, as far as I'm concerned. I don't understand how this stuff works. The gunk is necessary. Chat, the gunk is mandatory. Here was pinball. Including the switch. You can see where it's uh, drilled in. Here's um, the workbench. Cartridge being probed. So this is what went into making these corruptions from Irkuzar. I don't know what I'm looking at either, chat, but it looks like a lot. Here's the cartridge probing kit. And this is what aliens do to us. They just do that. Cartridge ready to be probed. Wow. I wonder if, like, what happens if you pour battery acid? <laughs> like, what? I just wonder, like, what if you just pour battery acid on this thing? Don't actually do it. And do definitely don't dump your batteries in the ocean or the river or charge the electric eels or anything like that. So that was a model... Model tall? Model thick? I don't, I don't know what these things mean, but... At all, this is interesting to anyone. That's fine. Um, model wide, so I guess different different models. He's experimenting with resistors on the program ROM. Yeah, that's yep. I couldn't have said so better myself. I know you're missing riveting Tetris gameplay, but here's Museum of Cursed Cartridges. Wow, that Mario 3 was really fucked up. That actually does look like it was found in a dumpster. My god, what, a, like a dog chewed it? It looks like it was slightly burned? Jesus. Why does it have hives? Original exploration cartridge. Oh, Moldio. That's Moldio, yeah. Usage of pliers. Well, you've already seen this happen. And finally, here's the workbench setup. So, yeah, this is, again, Irkluzar is a very dedicated dude to corruptions and finding out how these things work. Clearly, as you can see here. Someone just said, mad genius. And he's really nice, that's the thing. If you get to know the guy, he's actually really nice. But, you know, corruptions, the corruption game is strong. It's the life that was chosen. And, uh, as someone who... As someone who, uh, loves to glitch video games, and loves when games don't do what they're supposed to do, I'm all for it. Yeah, I'm not getting the same type of corruption from this one. Sometimes I do. Ooh. Oops. I was told this would be okay. Oh, oh god. Oh, fuck. It does not want to back out of a level.
Someone said, try running Super Mario Bros. 3 to get the NES hot, then put Tetris in it. I don't 100% think that would work the way you think. Because, I mean, technically, this is outputting the same amount, I think. Or unless Mario 3... Well, I guess Mario 3 requires a bit more juice, but... I don't know. I'm just making assumptions. I have no idea how this works. In fact, I don't even think Eric Luzard knows 100%. Uh, confirmed, he said it wouldn't work. It went from really fast, back to, like, regular speed. Oh god, the fucking music is so blown out. Ah, this fucking music! It hurts! And I got a migraine, and then he told me about Ewoks, and then I really got a migraine! Fuck if I know what an Ewok is! Oh, a long piece would be so great and so beautiful. It's not giving me a long piece. Chat, it's fucking trolling. I, I actually got trolled. Next is Excite Bike. And if we do the crust test, you'll see that it is, in fact, in relatively good shape. The sticker maybe has a little bit of um, fogginess to it, but I don't see any overt crust. Like, no one is handling this with macaroni and cheese fingers. And um, that's good. Yeah. All right. That's a horrible noise. Based. Based. Wow. This fucking guy is best. Guy is best. Get this guy. Sorry. Losing my mind a little sometimes. Once in a while. Once in a while. This guy. This one should generate music that doesn't exist. Might need a reset. Someone just called this armpit music. Whoa, I heard it. It's like just sadder.
I tried. One second, chat. Okay. You know what? Maybe I'll save the hammer for when um, we're, we're at the end of the segment. That way we don't, you know, we don't run the risk of uh, being unable to play the games. works. Very strong gaming console. Very strong. Base. I, I mean, it's not... I, <laughs> I think you ripped out the blob of hot glue preventing the cartridge from going down. It, it seems that that happened, yeah, but it's okay. It's still working. Someone just said, this is the most caveman shit I've ever seen on this channel. Unga. Just, yeah, it's a little unga. Well, there you go. That made a funny noise. Next game is Super Mario Brothers. There's no game in there. What's happening? Okay, now there's a game in there. Huh. It says hack. No, it doesn't. We didn't do the test. I'll do the test afterwards. After I hit it with a hammer a couple times. So I probably don't want to be hitting 
yeah, I definitely don't want to be hitting things with hammer anymore. Because um, we still have two games to get to. All right, well, hang on a minute. All right, now it should be good. And there you go. Okay. The classic the classic Mario Brother corruption. This is where it all began. This is as mint condition as you can get for a Nintendo video game. It's so good. This is what all the um, Mario.exe games strive for. This shit is what all true Nintendo video games strive for. Man, great sound effects. It gets real crunchy. All right. Hey, maybe maybe we can actually complete a dungeon. Vinny, what's wrong with your capture card? No, it's, this is pretty normal. Pime. Oh, it says Pim up there. Oh. Dungeon. Bro, this ain't a fucking MMO. Alright, castle. Yo, tell me Bowser doesn't have a dungeon. You're gonna sit there and tell me that King Koopa, aka Bowser, does not have a, se a dungeon. Okay, fine, it's a castle. But you know... You know what's happening in there. You know who he's, he's keeping, like, toads, like, bound and gagged and wrapped up. That sounds like a dungeon to me! I don't know, castle, dungeon, same thing! Toads love it. They, they, what you don't realize is this is all like, they're just bored. So it's all a ploy so they can like have Mario rescue them. They're, they're all in cahoots. The Toads, the Koopas. I guess we're going to the negative world? I guess not. It says OJ L. Time. Yeah, I can't get in there. This is different. It looked like it said Super Magic Bros. Oh, you playing them Magic Bros? Gonna rot your brain. Anyway, I'm gonna go watch the news for 10 hours. Play your Magic Bros, whatever. Whatever. Oh, you wanna go out and play? Nah, sorry, too bad. Go play your Magic Bros. Vinny, I mean, whoever you are. Huh? 
Oh, oh, you want to go to Coney Island, huh? Oh, Coney Island. <laughs> Someone said, I don't remember this Sopranos episode. What, the Corrupted Mario Brothers episode? I remember it clearly. Do you remember when Tony Soprano was playing Mario Kart with his son? Where's the Wait, that's not his son's name. What's his son? AJ. And like he's holding the controller completely wrong, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I couldn't fucking tell that there was a pit down there. Vinny, are you having trouble in real life? Yeah, I want to go to Cody Island, but my uh, Italian caretaker won't let me. Oh, you want to go to Cody Island? Play your magic, brothers. I'm I'm the tender at young age of 38, and they won't let me go to Coney Island. Oh, by the way, every Italian gets a caretaker. It's true. If you're an Italian New Yorker, you get, like, um, an old Mario-type-looking guy. Like a Tony Soprano. And he, he keeps an eye on you. And he cooks you the, the garlic and the broccoli. And, and the, the, the sweaty broccoli. What's that stuff? The sweaty broccoli? The sweaty Italian broccoli. What is that shit? That they boil with garlic. Broccoli, broccoli Robert. That is what you get. They give you a caretaker who makes you the Broccoli Robert. He doesn't take you to Coney Island because he thinks he's got better things to do. Anyway, so let me just check something out here. Just to compare, this is what Phil was getting. So that looks actually very normal. Why, why is... Oh. You know what? Let me turn off the console for a while. I think it's just too hot. It's probably the hammer. Why would the hammer have anything to do with this? Seems like nor- okay. And if you skip ahead... So far, this could just be explained as, like, solar flares. Have you cleaned the console out in the past 50 years? 30 years, rather. Uh, this isn't my console. This was given to me also by Yerkuzar, who found it at, like, a... I think... Um... A flea market. And it was sent specifically for these corruptions. So it's supposed to start kind of normal and get more and more fucked up. But for some unknown reason... My version of Mario Brothers that I have right now, same cartridge, mind you, uh, is is just a little bit more messed up. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe the effect synergized with the hammer. Well, hang on. Look, look, look. It was the heat, I think. Because now it's... Not so bad. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, it's got to be the heat.
uh, we may have a problem here, Houston. Yeah, it's the heat. All right, hang on. We'll we'll just give it another second here. In the meantime, I want to see if um I want to see what pinball looked like. Or was supposed to look like. See, it's weird because some of these are more corrupted when Irkuzar did them, and some are more corrupted for me. Actually, no, this, this has gone back to normal somewhat. Alright, let's try again. Mario Brothers. The Brothers. The Mario Brothers. Hmm. What well, started a little bit more normal, and now it's a little more... a little more corrupted. The famous white question mark block chat. Playable. Hell yeah. I even got the fireworks. Woo World 0102. We're going to Woo World 0102. Okay, we got some Mario teleportation, so... Oh boy, we're falling through blocks. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do the first castle. I would like to. Maybe there's a way <clears throat> still, but I don't know if that's going to happen, chat. Mario's name up top is Achio. <laughs> Achio. Come on, uh, come on. Bay over. All right. So, here. Let's try the last one. Ah. Yeah. Which apparently contains a labyrinth. The last one is Super Mario Brothers 2. Super Mario Bros. 2 has the ability to wrong warp doors. It happens sometimes, but if you discover a door that warps the wrong room, don't reset the console. You've discovered the labyrinth. Hmm. Sticky note screen. Uh, yeah, that did look a little bit like a sticky note. Same color, let's see. I mean, the lighting's a little different, but... Close enough. Yeah.
We'll give it a minute. This is what we would normally be seeing. Putting it on ice? Like, getting actual ice. Okay, so hang on a second, we got a pretty... Oh, okay. I want to see this labyrinth. We'll come back to that. Man, it's post-it note again. Post-it note central. The fuck is that? <laughs> I love this noise. All right, chat, hang on. Uh, shouldn't have hammered the console. I think, no, the hammering is... Probably good for it. Let me, um, hang on. I'll do something. One second. Chat. Right. So I got good news. I got a sledgehammer. No, I'm kidding. Um, I've got ice. So we're just going to put that there. And let's see what happens. Condensation can kill your NES. What's well, working? Hmm. All right, let's try. Uh, I'll move it here. Look, I'll get it off the cartridge, so we'll have it like here. So that's better. And uh, if you want, chat, just to be extra careful. Again, this isn't even my NES. This is this is um, a shit kicker NES for this exact segment. There we go. Hell yeah. Oh, negative Luigi. The ice is working. All right, chat. We, um, 
we just don't we don't have enough ice is the problem i think so uh all right Cool. It's negative Luigi again. It's it's working. You doubted the ice pop. I will celebrate no longer. If it works, I'm not saying shit about it. Yeah, there we go. All right, now, now we're good. We'll try Toad, maybe Luigi's crashing the game. Ah, uh, post-it notes. All right. I have one more course of action here that might work. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try something. Okay. Just wanted to take the cartridge out and put it back in. Liquid nitrogen, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> oh, man. Applied directly to the cartridge. I was told to apply ice directly to the cartridge, so hang on. Though it were they function like cooling rods, chat. You've heard of cooling rods, right? Whoa, that's different. Wow. 
Oh. Let's get it in there a little bit. This stream has gone off the rails. I can't press the controller. The button does not work. The button does not work. Button works. Button works. Confirmed. See negative Mario again. I don't know. The hammer strat. It's the, yeah, the, I, I chat, it was hammer time, chat, it was hammer time. Which, incidentally, MC Hammer was very popular around the time of the NES. Coincidence? I don't think it wants to work anymore, chat. Well, it almost works a couple times. <laughs> People have to realize these are corrupted cartridges. So this is, everything is going as intended. Someone just said this console is never going to take off. I know. How the fuck is anyone supposed to play games when they need ice pops to make everything work? Well, I mean, we could continue watching the video, if you want. We just keep watching Erkluzar's video to see some different effects. We could do this for a couple minutes, while I try to figure this out. If I can figure this out, I'll give it another minute. And, um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's okay. We tried all the strategies. We tried ice pop strategies, ice cube strategies, hammer. And if it doesn't work with all those, then I, I think we're done, you know? Needs to be upside down. Oh, what about sideways, like the PlayStation? Sorry, testing. Oh, I got Game Boy. Look. Wrap the cartridge in ice and popsicles while this plays. But here's here's the corruption I got. I got Game Boy.
Is Vinny actually going to do teardown mods? I think so. I think we'll get to it. Yeah. No, I I don't think it'll be shafted. Oh man. Yeah, that hot glue has been completely eliminated by now. Well, I'll try uh, two more times, three more times for a corruption to see if this is at all can work. And if not, uh, then we'll move on to the next segment. But I mean, it was fun. I didn't expect that I was going to get a hammer and popsicles. This is going to be the one. Try flipping the NES upside down. Oh man, the popsicle strat was really was close. It keeps getting... Okay, the problem is it keeps giving me false hope. Oh wow. I think we need hog strats now. One more time. Post-it note central. All right, chat. We tried. We tried. If you want to uh, see what the inside of the cartridge looks like, this. Yeah, it's this. So that's why the cartridge doesn't want to work, because it's got honey inside of it, as you can see. Well, whatever the fuck any of this was, I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching. And thank you, Irkluzar, for sending me this, you know, priceless. It's, pr it's definitely not priceless. For sending me this stuff so that I can hit it with a hammer. And the corruptions were interesting. And you did it. You found a way to corrupt with battery acid and uh, mold. That's not true at all, but it was fun. Why don't we take just a minute here while I get something set up. What the fuck? Whoa. 
chat, I am now so distracted from trying to set up the next thing that nothing is getting done. wins well that was um that was psychotic amazing all right chat now we see if the vtech painter is actually even a category and it's not there's nothing uh, there's nothing VTech related. Okay, we'll just do art, I guess. Yeah, art. 